हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग आर इंटरेक्टिव प्रॉब्लम सीरीज व्हिच आई हैव बीन कंटिन्यूइंग ऑन माय चैनल सो इफ यू हैवंट वॉच द प्रीवियस टू प्रॉब्लम्स यू कैन गो चेक दैट आउट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू अ नाइनटीन हंड्रेड रेटेड प्रॉब्लम ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज यू हैव टू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक पार्ट हाउ टू कम अप विद द आइडिया एंड देन यू कैन ईजली राइट डाउन द इंटरेक्टिव like the interactive function and the problem so we will be going through all of that in this video so the problem name is zor guessing it's a educational code forces around 71 problem so i'll tell you in simple terms what the problem statement states it states that there is a jury or you can assume that there is a uh, like a virtual judge and that jury picked an integer x not less than 0 but not greater than 10 to the power 14 minus 1 so there is an integer the jury will choose and then you have to guess that number now how you can guess that number what you'll do you can ask no more than two queries so like you can ask two queries you can assume which is given in the problem now in every query you should like every query should consist of 100 integers so in every query you can ask the jury 100 integers or you'll give the jury 100 integers and what the jury will do and like what the jury will respond in the in asking the question so in interactive problems you will always ask the like the jury some query and the jury will give you some output depending upon what the information is hiding so there is some information which is hidden and uh, like upon doing some operation on that information you can do some query so that you can guess the data which you want now so as you can see in this you can only ask two queries and in each query you should ask the jury 100 integers you can give the jury 100 integers and the jury will respond out will pick out any integers among the 100 integers and will tell you tell you the value of ai zor x so as you can see like you give the jury 100 integers the jury will choose any integer they will not tell you the jury will choose any integer and what the jury will do the jury will do a zor of that integer with the x integer which is hidden like ai and x and the jury will return out that value which is like the zor of ai and x now you so as you can see you can ask 200 integers to the jury in this problem so now what you can see in this problem is after uh, like after doing this number of queries what you can do all the like you have to find out what is x so now what you can see in this problem is yes so as you can see in this thing you have to find out what is the value of x so now and also you can ask the jury in both of these queries you have to give 100 integers in both of the queries and the numbers asked in these queries should be all distinct they, they, they should not be same so you can assume that i'm giving out same integers all in 100 and all the 100 integers are same no that's not the case you have to also give different integers now this problem might seems difficult that you do not know what integer the jury will choose so we have to give the numbers in such an order so that whatever number the jury choose you will get some information out which you can use to find out x now what you can see in this problem is can i somehow manipulate all the 100 numbers such that i can get some value in return which i can use because i can use two queries and there are the, the number which, which you can get like the number which the jury will pick as an x you have to find out will be 2 to the power 14 minus 1 so it means that it has 14 bits in that number the number will have 14 bits now if i somehow find out the bit value the bits value then i can easily find out the value so when i whenever i got a zor value can i use that zor value to calculate the original value so as you can see if i have some ai value so or let's in the like the ai value is some, somewhat like this like 1 0 0 0 1 0 somewhat like this and if you do a zor operation with some x number let let's in that x is this so now as in, as you know about the zor function if the two bits are same it will give you 0 but if the two bits are different it will give you 1 so it will be 0 it will be 1 it will be 0 oh, sorry it will be 1 it will be 0 it will be 0 and uh, they are same so zero different so on this will be the number which will be the outputted by the like the jury now what you can see in this problem is i will get out some bits like i 
if I get out some answer, I can deduce or use this answer if I know the initial bits, if I know the bit of the number which I have given in the input, if I somehow fixed these bits, let's assume that I fixed out all of these bits to zero. If I fixed out some bits as zero, then whatever Jerry chooses some number, let's assume that Jerry chooses this number. So as you can see, if let's assume that I have chosen some number and the Jerry chooses this number. So let's assume that I have given the Jerry as an input zero. Like let's assume, let's assume that all the numbers are zero. Let's assume all the numbers are zero and thus the Jerry will always choose zero. If I do zero with X because Jerry has X. Now, if it do this, as you can see this, the numbers are same. So zero, the numbers are different. So one, zero, one, zero, zero. So as you can see, this is exactly equal to the number which I want. So it means that if you do a ZOR of zero, it, it will give you the number itself, so which you have known already. But what you can see here is, if I somehow fixed out the bits, so I can easily extract out value from it. So what you can do here is, if I have seven, like the number can have 14 bits and I have to find out the 14 bits. Can I divide 14 into two halves such that I, ca I, ha I can easily find out the first seven bit in one operation and the other seven bit in one operation. So what you can easily do in this problem is, you have to first make the first hundred numbers such that the first seven bits are off. Which means that, let, let's assume that the first seven bits are off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And then you have some, like this place left, seven more bits which are left. Okay, so as you can see, if you find out 2 to the power of 7, 128, which means that the numbers are greater than 100. So it means that you can easily form 100 numbers if you have 7 bits which are empty with you. So you just put the first 0 bits, like the first bits, 7 bits are 0 and then just manipulate the, the, like the rest of the 7, 7 bits to any number like form 100 numbers using these bits only such that the first 7 bits are all 0. So whenever the jury chooses any number, the first 7 bit will be 0 and Whenever you get the ZOR of this number, which is like whatever number it is with X, you will get because X has also some bits. So because when you do a ZOR of those bits with the seven starting bits, you will get the first seven bits of X. As you can see, whenever I do a bit like ZOR operation of some bits with, with some number, you can get the same number. So in this idea you will get the first seven bits of x by doing the ZOR of so the first seven bits are also there but we do not care about those bits because we do not care about this information we just care about the last seven bits because we have manipulated our hundred numbers such that you can get the last seven bits and then you will do the same thing in which you will put the first seven bits zero and then the rest part which are the, the like the right part of these bits which you have left seven bits you just manipulate them out such that uh, you can get the first seven bit value and then what you have now is one half the first half seven bits which is x and the second half seven bits which is x so now you just do an and operation of both of these numbers and you will get the answer why and operation because let's assume that you have some bits and zero 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 seven zeros and then you have some another number which is some number and some zeros. If you want to add or merge these bits out, like these, this, this is the bit and this is the bit sequence we want to merge. So if you somehow make this all zeros and this all zeros, if you do an OR operation, then obviously they will get merged out. So it's like a, uh, it's like a standard bit manipulation things. If you have, like if you have a basic understanding of how bits work, then you can easily understand this logic. So when you do an OR operation of two numbers, then like the bits get added out as you can see. So now you just, so now my, my main objective is to somehow create hundred numbers in which the first, uh, like in first case, all the seven bits are off and only the rest of the numbers are there. So what you can do here is 
for creating out all the numbers which have the first seven bit off and then there are some numbers you just create out all the numbers from 1 till 100 because all the numbers between 1 to 100 will be within this this range only because as you can see 2 to power 7 if i create all the numbers between 1 till 100 then they will only occupy the first seven bits and the like the rest of the bits are zero only and if you want to make this number of bits zero and only create number which has these seven bits on and off then just as you can see you just create out any number and then just left shift it seven times which means that just create out let's assume that i have some number which is five okay now i want that this number should be shifted in this half such that the first seven bits should be off so what you can do just shift this number by seven bits to the left so if you do a so let's say there's a number x you just do a left shift operation of this number by seven positions this is like x this arrow and seven it means that i am now shifting x by seven bits to the left which means that if i have one, like five or any bit sequence then i am just shifting out this to the left and thus creating out seven bits which are zero so it's like shifting out the whole sequence if you know the bit manipulation some basic concepts i can also make a playlist on that also after completing this playlist so it's like shifting out these bits to the left part and then you can create out all the numbers for like the in which the first seven seven bits are like zero and the other numbers which have the other part zero and then you can just easily create out the numbers and just do the or operation and then just extract out x that's the logic for this problem i'll take on the code part now the code will be in the description of this video also so as you can see this is the interact function we will first go to the solve function this solve function will have take the input of so we have to output 100 numbers in which this query is 1 and 2 interact 1 and 2 which means that i have two types of input which i which i have to go to the judge the first query and the second query the first query will so as you can see in the problem statement uh, as you can see the problem statement the query is in this format so you have to also see how the format is you have to give a question mark and then the 100 number so this is not the exact correct thing but they have just given you some explanation output in which you have to first give an x question mark and then the 100 numbers so that's what i've done question mark and then the 100 numbers so for the first part you you can get the first 100 numbers by just printing out the first 100 numbers and then just return out so the jury will give you some x value which is like taking out any number and do an zor of that so you will get some x just store out that x else in the second query what you'll do you will again iterate over the first 100 numbers but just as you can see i have left shifted them seven places and then the jury will again give you some x and you just return out that x so in this interact function we will get two values which is somehow giving me the zor value of the 100 numbers in which the first seven bits are off in one case and the second half has second like the second part of the seven bits which are off then what i actually have to do here is i have to get those two halves so the, so the first half i am getting like this in which i have iterated over the first seven bits and just got those bits out i'm just getting out the first seven bit value and is this is used to get the second half seven bits out so if you don't understand what I'm done here, so I'll tell you, let's assume that when, whenever I have some number in which, let's assume that I have some number like this. Okay. So let, I have some number in which, uh, okay. Let's assume that the first seven bits are off one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and then there is some number which is like this one two three four five six so this is the number which is taken by the jury okay and there is some another number which is x which you have to find out so this is the x value okay now whenever i do a zor of this number and this number i only care about this half because this half will help me get the x value okay because this is x and when i do a zor of this number this x complete x with this number i can only use the part which are all zeros to get my answer 
but when you do a zor operation then this number this part will also get zor so this i will get this value also in my answer which is like this okay and then this part but as you can see i have to some when i do an or operation which i've told you i have some part and then all zeros and then all zeros and some part then only i can get the whole x value out but in this i have this part which is also rubbish so i have to somehow delete this part and replace it with all zeros what i can do here is if i take out all of these bits and just right shift them seven positions right shift is like taking this part and shifting all the bits to the right so if i shift all these bits to the right these bits will get cancelled out like it is like a river okay you can assume that this is a river or this is like a stack if these are the some numbers and these are some numbers if you like right shift to the left these numbers will get out of the stack and this number will shift and then if you shift them seven positions these seven position will be get emptied and this seven position will be shifted at this point so it, it means that now all of them are starting at zeros there are there are zeros in the start and then there then there are these bits in the like in the second half but i want these bits in the first half not the second half so i have to again left shift it back to its position but when you left shift it these bits got lost so these seven bit will be filled again with zeros only i know that it sounds difficult to understand but if you have some basic knowledge of bit manipulation then it will be easy to understand what i was like if i also tell again in simple terms it's like shifting the bits to the left and right if i shift all these seven bits to the right side these bits which are there they will get out of this stack and if they go out of the stack these bits are lost and only these bits will remain and the other part the like the like also this this part is also thinner if i shift these this bits these seven bits to the left this place get empty but this place will get filled up with again zeros so there will be all zeros here and these bits like go to this position but now i want that it should be in this format that all of these numbers should be there and there will be all zeros at this position so i just shift it right so that these bits get out and then i have to again shift it back to the seven position so i will again seven shift them to the back position so when i seven shift them back these bits because they were they are lost they will not again like come to this position but all of these bits will filled up with zeros so it will be like these will bits are now again at the same position but now the right side is all zeros again okay and that's what i've done i have first shifted them right and then left and this is to get the first seven bits out in the other number and then we just all it down and that's the answer so that's the logic if you still have any doubts you can mention on the coin box or you can contact me on the telegram channel stay tuned for more videos i'll see you next one till then keep coding and bye